everyone. Our topic is favorite places, unit 4, subunit 4.4, the college elementary. So let's start from the first exercise here, 1A. We are going to look at these photos and find where are the places, which countries are they in. Maybe you know some of these places, but the others are unfamiliar to you. The first one is Bangkok in Thailand. The second is Cape Town uh, in South Africa. The third one uh, is Paris in France. Uh, the fourth photo is uh, the Masai Mara in Kenya. And the last one it's the Grand Canyon in the USA. Let's continue with the second exercise, 1B. Here we are going to match these phrases, these sentences, with uh, from 1 to 5, with photos from A to E. But uh, before matching these sentences with the photos, Let's find the meaning, the definition of uh, some words. Let's start from the first one, art gallery. So, what is an art gallery? Uh, art gallery, as you see here, uh, it's a building where works of art can be seen by the public. So, it's an art gallery. Our next word is temple. Temples. So, what is a temple? Uh, as we see here, okay, it's it's a temple. Uh, it's a building that is used for a worship of a god in uh, some religions. For example, in Buddhism. Now, our next word is nightlife what is nightlife maybe you know this word it's entertainment or social activities uh, that uh, happen in the evening especially in bars and clubs and now we are going to our next word it's awesome awesome means extremely good for example if I say that, for example, the Grand Canyon is awesome, uh, it, it means it's extremely good. So I want to say it's an awesome place. Now, let's match these sentences with the photos. Um, the first one is given here. It's a romantic city with a lot of art galleries. It's the photo C. Uh, Paris, you know, Paris, uh, it's a romantic city and it's famous for its art galleries. Uh, the second one, they are beautiful views of mountains and beaches. As you see here, the view of mountains and beaches is, uh, is shown in the picture B. So we see the view of mountain and view of the beaches. So this is the picture. It's Cape Town in South Africa. Photo B. Number three. You can visit hundreds of temples and the shopping and the nightlife are great. So as we mentioned, temple is the building that is used for a uh, worship of a god, so it's a sacred place, a sacred building in some religions, in Buddhism. And temple we see only in this photo, so it's photo A. Four, the colors are amazing, it's awesome. If we look at these photos, uh, in the photo E, we see that uh, the colors are really amazing and awesome. It's an awesome place. So, 4 is E. And the last one, 
It's a fantastic place to watch animals. You can see zebras, elephants, antelope, hippos, and lions. So our last photo, D, here we see elephants. It's uh, the Maasai Mara in Kenya. So it's the picture D. Now let's pass to our next um, exercise. Uh, number two, here we have a DVD program about 50 places to see before you die. Uh, but before watching this program, let's read the program information. So, and try to answer these questions. 50 places to see before you die. There are so many places in the world to see. But if you want to visit 50 in your life, which do you choose? In this BBC program, we look at five places. Bangkok, Cape Town, the Grand Canyon, the Maasai Mara, and Paris. Watch the program and find out which is the number one place to see. Let's uh, answer these questions. How many places does this program look at? Uh, as we have read, uh, the answer of this question is uh, how many places? Five places. This program looks at five places. It's Bangkok, Cape Town, the Grand Canyon, the Maasai Mara and Paris. Uh, our next question, which place do you think is number one? Uh, in order to answer these questions, we have to watch this program about uh, places to see before you die. So let's watch this program and try to find out which place do you think is number one? Lovely. Just a lovely place. 
Great place, Cape Town. You love the mountains and beaches that make Cape Town so special. And these little guys, the penguins. This is the big moment. The number one place to see before you die. Your favorite is the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is an amazing place. You can read about the Grand Canyon and you can look at photographs and videos, but nothing can prepare you for the real thing. There is so much to see that you never stop seeing something new. The colors are just so amazing. With every changing inch of the sunset, the colors in the canyon change. I remember actually sitting there and I just cried. But there's only one word that everyone says when they talk about the Grand Canyon. It really is awesome. Just completely awesome. Awesome. Awesome is the word. It was awesome. 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 Awesome is the only word. Truly awesome. Okay, we have watched this video. And it's clear that the answer of this question, which place do you think is number one? It's uh, the Grand Canyon in the USA. Now, uh, we are going to watch this video again and underline the words that we hear in these sentences. So, let's watch it again. So, let's start. There are so many amazing places to see around the world. Here are some of your favorites. Shopping and the nightlife is great too. It's got lots of clubs, bars, shops, food, everything you need really. So the first one will be uh, the first word here it's need let's pop to the second sentence there are 400 temples in bangkok so bangkok is an antelope hippos and lions you can see them all so why is it so special huge open spaces fantastic animals just wide open freedom warmth friendliness and all underneath the great african sky so, in the second sentence, our words will be open spaces and African sky. So, the first word is open, the second one is sky. Now, our third sentence. The city of lights, Paris. To me, Paris is elegant, romantic and expensive. Yep. So, in this sentence, our word is Expensive. Next sentence. In the spring, I enjoy the art campus. Cape Town is one of my top. Lovely, just a lovely place. Great place, Cape Town. You love the mountains and beaches that make Cape Town so special. And these little guys, the penguins. Mountain with its fantastic views. Cape Town is one of my top three places on earth. Friendly people, loads of beaches, and the food is unbelievably cheap. We went there, uh... So in this sentence, our word is cheap. And our last sentence. Over New Year, it was lovely. Just a lovely place. Good photographs and videos, but nothing can prepare you for the real thing. There is so much to see that you never stop seeing something new. The colours are just so amazing. With every changing inch of the sunset, the colours in the canyon change. I remember actually sitting there and I just cried. And our last sentence, the word, the correct word here is pride. Okay, so let's pass to our next 
uh, exercise its writing uh, about a favorite about your favorite place. Um, you can just describe or write about your favorite place by uh, using these uh, questions. So where is it? How often do you go there? What do you do there? Why do you like it? So it will be your uh, individual work. Uh, so uh, you can write about your favorite place. But before writing, we are going to uh, listen to a woman. She speaks about her favorite place. And after, uh, I will pause uh, and one by one, uh, we'll uh, try to answer these questions. So, let's start. Unit 4, recording 12. One of my favorite places in the world is Lake Titicaca. It's between Bolivia and Peru. And so, uh, let's uh, answer the first question. Where is it? As she said, first of all, which place is it? It's Lake Titicaca and it's between Bolivia and Peru. So the second question, how often does she go there? And is oh, about 4,000 meters above sea level. The water is always very, very cold. I go there every year with my family and we stay in a small... So she goes there every year. The third question, what does she do there? I mean, which activities does she do there? A town near the lake. When I'm there, I usually go out on the lake in a boat. And sometimes I visit one of the small islands. Okay. So, the answer of the third question will be, she goes out uh, in a boat and she visits uh, some of the islands. And our last question why does she like it? The reason. Sometimes there are big waves on the lake, but it's usually very quiet. So, why do I like the lake? Well, I love its deep blue color, and it's a great place to relax. Okay, so the reasons are she likes um, its deep blue color, and it's a great place for her to relax. Uh, if you paid attention, uh, there were some key phrases that she uh, used to um, describe her favorite place. So she start from the one of my favorite places is, I go there every, so maybe day, year, she said year. When I'm there, I usually, she start uh, to speak about her activities with this sentence. I like it because it's... So, she used this phrase in order to uh, speak about the reason uh, why does she like this place. So, by using these key phrases, you can also describe uh, your favorite place. And our last exercise here, uh, it's uh, 5a. Uh, we are going to read these two paragraphs. It's the de description of the place, again, the, uh, of the favorite place. And put these topics of the paragraphs in the correct order here. So, let's start reading and put in the correct order. My favorite place is my aunt's flat. She lives in the center of the city and she doesn't work, so she's always at home. The second paragraph. I visit her once every month or two. She cooks lunch for me and we chat about her life and my life. After lunch, 
I usually sleep on her sofa for an hour or we watch TV together. I sometimes take my work with me and sit her in her living room and do it or read a book. I like it uh, because when I'm there, I remember my childhood. There is always a nice smell of her cooking. I always feel good there. Now, uh, it's your turn to uh, write about the description. Uh, I, I, sorry, now uh, we are going to uh, put these paragraphs uh, according uh, in the correct order. Why do you like it? So, the reason why this person, why does this person like it, is given as we see in this paragraph. So we have here the reason. I like it because so this phrase, this paragraph, answer this question. So it's the uh, answer of this question. Uh, I like it because when I'm there, I remember my childhood. So here we can write number three. Uh, next question, what's the name of the place and where is it? So the name of the place and its location is given in the first paragraph. So my favorite place is my aunt's flat. She lives in the center of the city. So here we can write number one and last one how often do you go there and what do you do there so here it's the last paragraph uh, the paragraph the second paragraph uh, I go there I visit her once every month or two and what do you do there so she uh, wrote about the activities uh, so uh, it's I sleep on her sofa, watch TV, and sometimes this person uh, takes his work with him. So this is activities that this person is doing. So here we can write number two. Okay, so. Thanks for watching and listening this lesson. Uh, now it's your turn to write about uh, to write a description of your favorite place. You can use these paragraphs and these questions, uh, and at the same time, these key phrases. All the best.